Good morning, everybody. All right, so it's Friday morning. I think we're gonna go do another yard sale day. Um, I finished up the ceiling on this side and I started over here. This lower section is so much easier than working up way up in the in the top. So um, I had a, I had to do a podcast yesterday, so I kind of that's why I stopped. Otherwise, I definitely would have finished the bottom row and probably all the notched out parts too. Um, that um, that podcast was Relics Radio. If I could find a link for it, um, I'll put it in the description for you. Um, yeah, man, I guess we're going to go do some yard sales. I just need to grab my keys, wallet, sunglasses. We can go do that. Let's check out the, the moisture underneath. Let's see. Yeah, it's wet to the touch. It's definitely still damp. All right, I'm gonna leave it go. Someone in the comments of today's, yesterday's video, when you're watching this, he said, uh, don't overwater it because then it'll start composting. So that makes sense. I think I'll leave it go. Maybe we'll water it once a day. All right. Right, I'm back from the yard sales. Shot the video, found some really good stuff. Two tripods. And this is like the last tripod I'll ever need. It even has the uh, that the ball head mount on it. I think this piece alone is worth a hundred bucks and then the tripod is worth a hundred. That's crazy, I found that. Five bucks. Now that is a tripod. This thing is as tall as I, it's taller than me. And yes, it does have the, um, the 3025 ball, 3D ball head. So you can adjust it this way, side, you know, 360 degrees, or you can tilt it as well. And that thing is, that's a sturdy tripod right there. That's great. <clears throat> Where's my other tripod? So here's the tripod I just purchased. And I think... I think the one I already have is like a smaller version of this. It's like basically the same brand. That's the 2001 UT. And this is the 6400 UT. See, it's... The one I just bought is a little bit thicker and a little bit sturdier. It's never a bad idea to have extra tripods, especially since this is going to be a film studio as well. But these light ones, I can, I like the lighter ones. Like I would never bring this thing out in, into the woods with me or anything or out to the river. I would take one of these, probably this one. It's, it's pretty light and uh, I don't care if it gets damaged or anything like that. And, uh, and it'll work. All right. Well, we're back in the shop and I just pinched my finger. Oh my goodness, that hurts. There we go. Whew, saw stars on that one. All right, let's go outside. We'll check the, the, uh, the moisture and the hay in the back and then we'll continue working on the ceiling, I guess. All right. Oh, also, my bandsaw from Grizzly is scheduled to be delivered for today. At least that's what the tracking information says. I'm waiting on a phone call from the driver. 
I have not received the phone call yet, so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully we get the bandsaw today. All right. It's now it's like dry on top and it's like a little bit damp underneath. I think it's ready for some water because I did not water it yet today and it's like 80 degrees out today. So let's go ahead and water. All right, so it's like tornadic out here. It's not doing it now, but I want to show you guys what happened to all my hay. There's stuff blown all over the place. I'm gonna have to reap. I'm gonna have to put this hay back down. But look at that. It's still mostly there, but I mean, <laughs> it's getting a little crazy. We have an extra bale of hay. Uh, I just got off the phone with Mr. Cool. There's a problem with the um, the Bluetooth. And they said they had me back and forth with the app store and the and the Mr. Cool. So this this unit here does not connect with my phone. They say press these two in at the same time, and a little Bluetooth icon should appear, and it doesn't. And they said it's a hardware issue. So Mr. Cool's gonna send me a new one. Um, they never called about my bandsaw, so I don't know if it's being delivered today or not, but I'm here and ready for it whenever they do call. What else? Uh, I did not get a chance to, uh, I put one more, like three more up there. Um, I have a few more of those to go, but um, other than that, I think that's gonna do it for the day. It's, uh, it's about four or 5 p.m. I think we're gonna eat. And yeah, I, you know, doing from here up to about there is nice and easy. And then once I get up really high, it starts getting more difficult. So anyway, I think that is going to be the end of the video for today. Um, I am going to let you guys look at some time lapse from what I'm working on for the rest of the night here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see all the progress up to this point, you can always go back to the shop playlist on this channel and you can watch this entire shop turn from a shell of just studs and plywood into what it is today. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.